when you squint you tighten the eyes but when you blink you open you close the eyes real gently and you think as if the eyelashes are opening and closing the eyes so Tony when you open and close the eyes visualize as if the eyelashes are doing the work of opening and closing it sounds almost magical but if you think that way you stop yourself from frowning and squinting as you peripherize those muscles feels nice doesn't it yes one other wonderful exercise is to massage the eyelashes just so you will give yourself the order the controlling order that the local eyelid muscles are doing the work and not the forehead muscles doing it I remember that once in my training course when we did an exercise on kinesthetic awareness I asked from people to feel how much strain can there be in their face and head when they blink with their eyelids in a strenuous way some of them felt strain e even in their neck and shoulder truth of the matter is we don't even know how much we strain and how harmful it is it's important to blink frequently one lady who came to me with retinal detachments had in her chart written by very known ophthalmologist this woman is not blinking I asked her to blink and the blinking exercise helped her gain a lot of it back when you begin to do the exercises on yoga for your eyes you may experience an immediate improvement in your vision you can measure your continuing progress by taking a moment right now to mark your starting point to do this you may use a traditional eye chart or make your own use flowers leaves symbols clip art from your computer or any other images you like just arrange them in rows so that each row gets progressively smaller as you move down to the bottom of the page hang your chart at a distance where you can see only part of the chart clearly begin reading each line starting at the top of the chart continue as far down as you can then mark the last row you can see clearly as you continue exercising your eyes you'll use this point to measure how much your vision is improving to do this next exercise you'll need three rectangles of black construction paper the first should be one and a half by two and a half inches the second should be two inches by three and a half inches and the third should be two inches by five inches a double over the piece of adhesive tape in the middle of each rectangle will allow you to attach it to the point between your eyebrows or at the top of the bridge of your nose you will use these tools to strengthen your peripheral vision and balance the use of both eyes together we're going to use several instruments in our work very easy instruments to use and this is a good introduction and you can yourself innovate and invent a lot of other instruments this is a small piece of paper we put between the eyes to simply block central vision with this we will block even more central vision with this we will block even more central vision we're using the chart and we're using a page with different size print by the way don't be slaves of this practice this is just a suggested practice if you adopt the same principle with other exercises you will do just as well for yourself let's start Tony by maybe we should move away from the chart now that you know exactly what you see and move your chair opposite than the table or should I move the table away maybe I should move the table away and put this little paper between your eyes effectively you block your central vision wave your hands to the side and when you wave your hands you are stimulating the rods which are specialized in peripheral and night vision in the past people used to sit in amphitheater and have 360 degrees of vision 
Today, our peripheral vision has been diminished. We hardly walk at night. We hardly see stars and moons these days. And it takes about 40 minutes of a night walk to, walk, to wake up the rods of the eyes. If you know a friendly environment, walk for about an hour and 10 minutes so you'll have half an hour of waking up those rods. And the next thing I want you to do, Tony, is wave your hands and move your whole body up and down as you wave the hands, just to create more and more stimulation to those worlds. Of course, one thing that you can do is run with this paper between your eyes and wave your hands to the side. And I used to do it. I used to even bike, but with a smaller piece of paper, and everybody was laughing, of course, but it really helped me start and use my two eyes together. If you use both hands from the two sides, you will have a good peripheral vision. Let me show you something. If you look at the finger in front of you, if you close one eye, the finger moves into one direction. If you close the other eye, it moves to the other direction. But if you open both eyes without moving your finger, it seems to be in one place. One eye can easily dominate the other. If you close the right eye, it moves to the right. If you close the left eye, it moves to the left. So the right eye looks a bit left and the left looks a bit right, and quite often one eye will dominate the other eye. We want no eye to dominate. When you put your two hands in the periphery, no one eye can see what the other eye sees. When you close the one eye, you can only see one hand. If you close the other eye, you can see the other hand. That's why we're starting to use the periphery Beside the fact that we want to integrate cells that we never use with this practice. Now, put the middle size print, uh, middle size uh, page, and wave your hands to the side. Wave your hands to the side, and now effectively, you're blocking your central vision even more and you're waking up peripheral cells you normally don't pay attention to. They're there, but they're dormant, they're latent. Now move your whole body up and down, up and down, up and down. Move your whole body up and down. And this way, you really activated your periphery. But you know, we can even do better. Let's take the middle size off and put the larger size on and wave your hands to the side move above and below above and below pay attention to what you're doing now you are blocking your central vision completely you cannot see centrally and don't strain to look at the paper just look at it with a soft eye don't focus on it just look at it and your brain will focus on the periphery. So you wave your hands from below, you wave your hands from above, you wave your hands from the side, and you move up and down. 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 And now, rub your hands, as you keep moving your head up and down, rub your hands, move the head up and down, and now palm, put your hands around your eyes. Just for three deep breaths. And by the way, you can do it at any time, just palm for three deep breaths. But this time, we're palming in order to widen the pupils and to activate more of our peripheral cells that are only active in the dark. Now take your hands off and wave them and wave them. Do you have a sense more of the periphery of the room? Mm -hmm. Good. Now move your whole body up and down, up and down, up and down, all the way down, all the way up. This is a wonderful exercise, not only for good vision, but against pressure in the eye. It can help prevent glaucoma and many other eye disease. Now let's take this off and put this on and wave the hands to the side. Wave the hands to the side. 